Just outside Des Moines, Iowa, Prairie Meadows is a racetrack, hotel, and casino with an emphasis on racing. Equine art is everywhere, and quarter horses from all over will meet there on October 14th when the track hosts the Bank of America Challenge Championships. This past weekend, about a month shy of the big night, Prairie Meadows offered three regional challenges, one including AJ's High. Stay with us for that and a lot more on this edition of the Weekend Wrap-Up. Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by American Quarter Horse Association, Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie, and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. Hi, I'm Jim Byers. Thanks for being with us. Raceview Network was on location in Altoona, Iowa this past week for the regional challenges at Prairie Meadows. That action is coming right up. We'll also bring you two big races from Ajax Downs and a grade two from Zia Park. Let's start at Prairie Meadows with Saturday's Attaquan Prairie Meadows Derby Challenge. Three-year-olds go 400 yards in this division. Seven to 10 favorite Dawn's first Desirio was easily the fastest from the three trials and is one of two Julio Corral trainees in here. Four to one second choice, Cowboy Jim ran second to the favorite in a trial, but scored in this summer's Canterbury Derby. Number six, faster than Hasta, won a John Deere Juvenile Challenge at Prairie last year. He usually rallies late. Corral's other entrant, Attack the Wind, has been first or second in four straight. Sadly for him, he did not attack the start of this Attaquan Derby Challenge. Don's first Cesario from the inside came out well. Cowboy Jim did also. BP painted Valentine Putanical and also beginning to move up here is Corona Springs. Wide open behind Don's first Cesario who has the lead floats out into the center but has a clear lead and wins. An impressive display of speed from Don's first Cesario but he drifted out into the path of number three Cowboy Jim. And after an inquiry and objection, Dawn's first Desirio was disqualified and placed third. So original runner-up faster than Hasta is the winner. This Wyoming bred gelding by Has to Be Fast is trained by Robert Johnson for owner John G. Johnson. Fifth in the John Deere Juvenile Championship last year, faster than Hasta can return to the final in the Attaquan Derby division next month. Alfredo Triana, the winning jockey. Cowboy Jim is officially second. Next up on the sloppy surface on Saturday, the John Deere Prairie Meadows Juvenile Challenge. The purse is better than $63,000 here. From the five trials, Valero was fastest and is the seven to 10 favorite. He's won two straight after debuting with a close fourth, all under Stormy Smith, who gets the return engagement for trainer John Hamas. Number five, JJ Sir James is another trial winner and four to one second choice. The South Dakota bred has won three of four lifetime all in tandem with jockey Justine Kleber, who again has the mount. Six to one third choice, Rusty Rose two, has a maiden win at Remington and a close second at Prairie on her resume. Jorge Torres rides for Stacy Charette Hill. Off and running. Valero goes for the lead. The fiscal storm is right there, too. And here comes High Valley Girl to the extreme outside. Valero, High Valley Girl out in the middle of the racetrack. The fiscal storm and painted dynasty. Valero wins it. Valero is extra game in overhauling High Valley Girl and painted dynasty by a half length under Stormy Smith. Bred in Colorado by owner George Seward, Valero is a gelding by Valiant Hero and the multiple graded winner Perry's Queen Bug, who's by Mr. Jess Perry. John Hamas, the trainer, as Valero improves to three for four. Final time, 17.87 seconds. The third and final challenge race from Saturday, featuring AJ's high in the championship division, is coming up a little later. Ajax Downs, outside Toronto, offered a pair of stakes on Monday. The first of those is one of the richest quarter horse races in Canada, the Peacock Derby. The fifth running of this 400-yard test carried a purse of $85,000 plus U.S. Number three, Ghost Pines, and number four, Miramar, shared the fastest trial time, and each is two to one. And they're off. 
out quickest is Miramar to its inside Ghost Pines along the fence is fishing for a throw now. It's Miramar with a slight advantage over Ghost Pines. Third in the inside is fishing for a throw Corner on the outside, here comes Hickerson with some late run. Miramar and Castillo in between horses. Ellis Prince, who's it gonna be? Ellis Prince looks like he got it. It's been a great summer for Ellis Prince. This Texas bred narrowly defeats number seven Hickerson with the four Miramar third. L.S. Prince has won four of his last five outings, including the Atiquan Ajax Downs Derby Challenge back in August. The first horse bought at auction by owner Milena Quishan for $7,000. L.S. Prince has earned $55,000 plus while winning five of 10 starts. Bred by Paris Wixon, L.S. Prince is a son of Louisiana Senator, trained by Jason Pascoe and ridden by Josh Scott. Final time, 19.87 seconds, a 103 speed index. A few weeks ago, Raceview Network was on hand at Ajax Downs for its Bank of America Championship Challenge. Heavy favorite and local horse of the year, Country Boy 123, was defeated by stablemate One Famous Glass. On Monday, the All-Canadian Classic offered a rematch of those two, plus third-place finisher Fast Man Vic. The distance is shorter than the challenge by 90 yards, this one at 350 for four-year-olds and up. Country Boy 123 is the four to five choice. And they're off in the old Canadian Classic and pet their hero. Out broke everyone. Country Boy 123 right alongside. Third on the outside is Famous Glass. Alakazam towards the rail and Country Boy 123 has taken over the lead. Country Boy 123 convincingly in the old Canadian Classic. The order is reversed from the BOA Ajax Championship Challenge as Country Boy 123 breaks on top and never looks back in a fast effort under Corey Spataro. He tops one famous glass this time with Panther Hero third. Bred in Michigan by Carolyn Bay, Country Boy 123 was a $7,200 Heritage Place yearling purchase in 2014 by Ruth Barber. Bryn Robertson trains this four year old gelded son of Country Chicks Man and Very Dashing 123. Country Boy 123 has 10 wins and 17 career starts. The time here 17.33 seconds, a 109 speed index. Time for a quick break, but we have plenty left, including a pair of grade twos, the James Isaac Hobbs and BOA Prairie Meadows Championship Challenge. Lone Star Park's quarter horse season is underway. Highlights of the meet, the grade two Dash for Cash Futurity September 30th, the grade one refrigerator handicap October 7th, and the $1 million Texas Classic Futurity November 11th. The world's fastest athletes this fall at Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie. You're not just my horse, you're my family. I may hold the reins, but you hold my heart. One of the highlights of the Zia Park stake schedule is the grade two James Isaac Hobbs stakes. It matches three-year-olds and up at 350 yards and had its $50,000 renewal on Sunday. Just two weeks after running third in the All-American Gold Cup at Ruidoso Downs, number six, A Political OK, is back as the nine to five favorite. And they're off. Harry Stamina gets the first call. Then it's A Political OK, Born to be Bad, down inside. TF, I'm that guy, Midnight Heat, far outside, Don Quixote, JM Splenda. It is Don Quixote in the outside. Once over is right there inside. TMF, I'm that guy, photo finish. Once a top stakes horse at Los Alamitos, once over is still going strong at nine years of age. He wins this one from between horses over Don Quixote and TF, I'm that guy. Raul Herrera, the jockey. Now nine for 30 with earnings of nearly $261,000. Once over is a California bred gelding by Walk Through Fire and the productive mare Look Her Over. Bred by Edward Allred, owned by Jamie Buhanda, and trained by Jose Marquez. The time 17.688 seconds. Another older horse that loves to win races while competing at the top of his division is AJ's High. On Saturday, that Oklahoma bred had one last chance to qualify for next month's Grade 1 Bank of America Challenge Championship, a race he won last year. The final regional challenge in that championship division took place at Prairie Meadows on Saturday at 440 yards. Remarkably, AJ's High entered the race having not won in four outings since the BOA championship, but always in top company, as two of those were grade ones. He was a close second in a trial for this, 
behind a horse who isn't in today's field, TLC Dale. Cared for in Iowa by Charlton Hunt, AJ's high is the four to five favorite. The five to two second choice is the always reliable Iowa bred the Fiscal Cliff in the money in 13 of his last 14 races. He's also 10 for 10 in the money at Prairie Meadows. The well-traveled Whoop-de-doo is the six to one third choice. He won the other trial for this, the one not involving AJ's high. Off and running. AJ's high came out well, so too did the Fiscal Cliff. Watch my wallet, Lotto, and here comes whoop de doo from the inside. whoop de doo the Fiscal Cliff. AJ's high, three olives in smoke is next. AJ's high goes after the lead now with AJ's high now drawing off late, and AJ's high wins it clear and stoutly. After a couple taps early to wake him up, jockey Stormy Smith only has to steer AJ's high down the track. The five-year-old gelding does the rest and does it handily in 21.454 seconds for a 106 speed index. A son of a political Jess and the rare form mare Regally Rare, AJ's high races for his breeder, Michael Teal. Charlton Hunt had him in Iowa. His father, Charlie, frequently trains him as well. whoop de doo was second, but the fiscal cliff third. Lone Star Park's quarter horse season is underway. Highlights of the meet, the grade two Dash for Dash Futurity September 30th, the grade one refrigerator handicap October 7th, and the $1 million Texas Classic Futurity November 11th. The world's fastest athletes this fall at Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie. Raceview Network's weekend wrap up is sponsored by American Quarter Horse Association, Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie, and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us. Among the action next week, challenge races from Will Rogers Downs and the Mildred Vessels Memorial from Los Alamitos. I'm Jim Byers. For the entire staff and crew, thanks for watching. Be sure to look for us next time here on the Weekend Wrap-Up.